John here. Electricians need to know. Um, I thought today we would talk about uh, house wiring a little bit. Uh, Two-way, three-way, four-way, half hots, and uh, receptacles. Just the things you're going to find around your house. Just the hardware. And it's they're pretty easy to change. Uh, if you know what circuit... Uh, it is you can go out turn off that circuit in the in the circuit breaker panel and uh, pretty much change it as long as you change wire for wire you're good uh, and you need to get these things tight uh, I know a lot of electricians that really haven't developed a really good grip yet and they're afraid they're gonna break these things so uh, I crank them down pretty hard uh, and that's what you need to do so anyway, I thought we would talk about like switches. Here's a switch. It's a two-way switch. Power comes in to one terminal, goes out the other. Okay, two-way. Pretty simple on off. Okay. Uh, here's, here's another two-way. Same thing. Power comes in, goes out, and there's no, there's no determination on either terminal. They're both gold. Okay. Off and on. All right. Pretty simple. It just turns on a light or turns on a half hot or, or something like that. Now this is a three-way. <coughs> that was not a three-way. That was a four-way. Okay, this is a three-way. It has two gold terminals uh, on one end, and it has a brown or black terminal on the other end. Now, the black terminal indicates the head of the, of the, of the switch. Okay, so power usually comes into this brown terminal and it switches from one gold to the other gold, back to the other gold, back and forth. Okay, and if you have one three-way, you have to have another three-way at the end of your circuit. So the two travelers that go from the gold terminals to the gold terminals will travel between uh, these two, these four gold terminals, uh, and then the brown terminal or black terminal on the second three-way would go to whatever you're trying to power up. So that way you could turn it on there, turn it off here, and back and back and forth. Uh, it worked either way. So that's what three-ways are good for. Uh, <clears throat> turning them on and off in different locations. Okay, so uh, three ways can be joined with by a four way only. So three ways are at the end of each circuit, and then you have if you have like uh, another switch. If you have three switches, it has to be a four way. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Takes these two terminals, goes to these two terminals, and then goes back to these two terminals and goes out. Okay, so uh, a four-way switch works the same way as a three-way, except you have two brown terminals. Uh, usually on the power side here, and one one brown wire will switch down to a gold terminal and then when you switch it it'll switch up to a gold terminal and the other one does the same thing when this one's switching down this bottom one is switching up and when you switch it again they both switch across so anyway uh, this allows you to stack these as many as you want uh, in a circuit and go to any location and turn on and off that circuit so it works pretty simple and easy, although there are a lot of people get confused about how the circuit works and what functions these four ways use. So anyway, um, four ways are in the middle of three ways, and uh, three ways are at the end of the circuit. So you have a three way, four way, four way, four way, four way, three way, then uh, whatever you're driving uh, at the end of that three-way, which would be a light or a motor or um, 
uh, half hot receptacle. Now, these half hot receptacles, they're just regular receptacles, just like this is a regular receptacle. Now, the gold terminals is for power. So there's a bridge between uh, that screw and that screw. There's a little gold bridge right there. So if you break that gold bridge off, you're going you're gonna to lose power to one side or the other, depending on where the power comes in. And then you need to feed that other side with a wall switch uh, that would turn on and off this side. So that's why they call it a half hot. So half of it is hot all the time. Uh, the other half is switched on the wall uh, from a three-way or a two-way or a four-way uh, circuit. So anyway, uh, you, you can drive this with a four-way. Uh, you wire the four-way like a three-way, and uh, that works fine, too. And I can show you schematics of all that uh, without any problem. Uh, there's some schematics of uh, regular two-way, regular three-way, uh, a regular four-way switched up, a regular four-way switched down. Uh, a four-way acting as a three-way and uh, a three-way acting as a two-way. And the, the bottom one is a double pull uh, single throw switch that opens both sides and closes both sides now these are used for like motors and things like that because where you need a lot of current uh, you have two circuits coming in and two circuits going out and it just it's just a switch on and off and it will power uh, twice the power as a single a single switch a uh, single two-way okay that is uh, the, the uh, single switches. Now, here's some of the circuits that, that they're in. Uh, it's a single circuit up at the top where you're turning on a light. All right, this is a single circuit where you're turning on a whole receptacle. Okay. The next one down is a half hot, uh, where you're only turning on half the circuit, and the other half the circuit's hot all the time. Okay, and then the third one is uh, a light that's fed from two three-way switches. Okay, now those are pretty simple switches, uh, pretty easy to wire. And we have one more here we're going to show you. More page okay at the top we've got we've got a three-way uh, a four-way a four-way another three-way and a light okay below that we have a three-way uh, a four-way a four-way a three-way and a half hot receptacle uh, half hot turned upside down okay the the um, in order to identify uh, half hot receptacles they usually turn them upside down at least they should and there's a uh, what the uh, identification of the wires and so forth are so anyway uh, Those are the uh, circuits that you may or may not have in your house. Um, they are uh, pretty easy. Uh, it always helps to turn off power to, to work with it. Uh, black and uh, black and John here. Electricians need to know. Now I have about 20 videos on YouTube that deal with mainly electrical issues. We have some uh, tying off ladders and protecting your toolbox and uh, things of that nature. But primarily, I've been an electrician for 50 years, and I'm trying to pass that on before I kick the bucket. 
So subscribe to my channel and uh, periodically I'll put on another video and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.